Alright, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy. So here in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable VSync in Fallout 4. And it's a very simple process. It's a very simple thing to tweak, but it's a pain in the ass because you have to do it multiple times in multiple different files. So that is why I'm showing you guys how to do that here in this video. And the purpose behind disabling VSync is getting rid of the 60 FPS cap but mainly getting rid of the terrible game engines vsync. Because the main problem with Bethesda's Fallout 4 vsync is that it drops your frame rate more than God Ray's Ultra settings, which doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why vsync of all things does this. I know that it's supposed to cap your frames, but it's not supposed to drop the heck out of your frames at the same time. I can run the game at over 60 FPS, but if I try to cap it at 60 FPS with the V-Sync, then I'll start getting like 30 frames per second in game, which doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm gonna be running you guys through how to disable that here in this video. So there are two directories that you're gonna to wanna to head over to. The first one is the Fallout 4 game directory, and you can find that by going to Steam, finding Fallout 4, right clicking, and going to properties, go to local files, and browse local files. The next place that we wanna go is the documents folder. So let's go ahead and open that up. And now we wanna to go to my games, Fallout 4, and these are the files that we're gonna to have to change as well. So let's start off with the My Documents folder to get this out of the way. Let's launch up the follow4.ini, and now we wanna find the I preset interval equals one, and we wanna change the one to a zero, and that is literally all you're gonna to wanna to do in every single one of these. You're gonna to wanna to find the I preset interval and change it to zero. That essentially is the VSync option, and that is how you disable it. So let's go ahead and now open up the followedforprefs.ini. And to make this easier, all you want to do is hit Control F and type in I present and hit enter. And that will actually bring you to it. So you can just hit back and change it to zero. That way you don't have to search through every single one of these things to try and find it. Even if it is close to the top, it's better to just search for it so you don't have to try and find it. And that is everything out of the way for the My Games folder. So we can close that off. And now we wanna to go to the Fallout 4 default INI file in the Fallout 4 directory. And this one should be close to the top under display. And let's change that to a zero as well. Hit file and save. And now we wanna go into the Fallout 4 folder here, go into the Fallout 4 prefs, dot ini and now we want to go ahead and find it again and now we want to change that to a zero as well i know <laughs> the fact that they have to have so many ini files with the exact same option doesn't make any sense to me but now we have changed everything let's go ahead and launch up the game and see how things are running normally it's capped at 60 frames so now we should be seeing it go above that so now that we're in game let's go ahead and look up at the sky and as you guys can see we are hitting 87 ish frames per second, which we would not be able to do if we had vsync enabled. So now we're able to run the game above 60 frames per second and we actually get a better frame rate. Normally, right here, I would be getting about 41 frames per second, and that's not bullshit. Normally, I'd be getting about 41 per frames per second. Now I'm getting 50 frames per second. You also have to keep into account that I'm recording in 2K while playing at 2K Ultra settings. So that is why you're seeing frame drop right now. If you do not know, if Fallout 4, Skyrim Special Edition, Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, any of the Game Bryo engine games or creation engine games, because it's essentially the same engine, if they get too high in the frame rate, physics will start going wonky, time scale will start going wonky, and you'll be running into a ton of bugs. So make sure you're very sensitive on what you leave your frame rate cap at. You do not want to let it run wild because that will only cause you issues. So keep that in mind. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fights. If you haven't already, it'd be super greatly appreciated as always. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Okay.